Welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one, a kid, idiot, Dave Coco from WrestleAM, a podcast on YouTube, Coco Sports, wherever you find your podcast needs. Also, whenever I get my jaw surgery next week, we'll be returning to twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. Within the next few hours, I will be going to Corrigan Hall. Got my ticket right here. And this is going to be the last show for Nakajima in the Tokyo area under Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, he's got one more show after that, but I will be traveling to it. So this is a review of Noah Star Navigation 2023. It will be October 20th uh, at Corican Hall, and I'll be there. So I'm kind of pumped up and excited, and I'm also going to start doing the previews and reviews of Noah, New Japan, and a couple other companies slowly but surely. I just got I just got to fix my face. Look at my face. I got to fix it. So got my tickets. Of course, everyone's talking about the six-man tag match. Um, Nakajima, Noah's, Korokin's last match. And I'm sure not his last match ever in Noah. Probably maybe not his last match ever in Korokin Hall. Well, he definitely has one more match in Noah. But I'm hoping that he'll return one day. Um, there's a lot of rumors where he's about to go. Biggest, biggest being AEW because Tony Khan mentioned him in a press conference or uh, New Japan or possibly both. Or just might stay in the free agents. But he is my favorite professional wrestler uh, going today. And I hope that he gets to be seen on a big stage. I wish Noah was that big stage, but that's another video for another day. You got Axis, Nakajima, and Go with Kitamiya. We're going against Mochizuki, uh, Soya, and Nabe. Uh, Daikinabe, uh, Mochizuki will probably take the pin. The big thing is just celebrating Nakajima. And I'm glad I get to see him in Noah for one more. I think he's actually a free agent now. He just agreed to two more events, but I could be getting wrong information off the internet. First time. I could, I could probably just call. <laughs> I could probably just call and find out. Uh, no, I, uh, I was just going to call on air. And it's like, it's only 10 p.m. What do you think? Too late to call so, uh, someone in pro wrestling, Noah? Just randomly call. But yeah, he's got two more matches left. This is one of them. Going to be there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Go doesn't get the pin. Um, but yeah, just Nakajima is probably the best, one of the best wrestlers going today. And a lot of the world hasn't seen him yet, so I'm kind of excited to see what he can do outside of pro wrestling, Noah. See what he can do in an AEW, a New Japan, or wherever he winds up going. I know that I personally will follow him wherever he goes, just because, like I said, he just he's just so stiff with the kicks, so entertaining, just a great, just a, a tough guy in a land of we're not tough guys anymore. You know what I mean? Like... It's hard to sell intimidation. It's hard to sell toughness. It's hard to be a badass in professional wrestling. Um, and he does it. He does it, and it's going to be great. And not a lot, but will he continue knocking people out? Now, that's another interesting fact. So um, I think everyone's going to, for Nakajima. By the way, this will be on Wrestle-Universe.com. I don't think it's a free show, but... Wrestle Universe, hashtag not an ad, hashtag obviously, but you get Pro Wrestling Noah, TJPW, and uh, DDT Pro, and a bunch more, um, and it's it's totally worth it if you follow Noah and TJPW, um, and DDT. Damn, there's another one. I want to say Gang Pro, but I feel like that's off. Is Gang Pro the one that's there? Or is Gan? I think it is Gan Pro. Um, for some reason, I thought Gan Pro is free on YouTube. I'm getting my uh, federations mixed up but yeah so it's going to be great to see nakajima live in the, in the, you know cork and hall and it's going to be sad to see him leave you know but hopefully wherever he goes he's a star and they they let him be him they let him be him so it would be it would be interesting next you got a tag team match as the semi you got Probably the four hottest guys in the company right now. You got Jake Lee, who slowly but surely is turning his reputation around. Not only do super guyagens like him, but he's actually winning over hardcore uh, fans that live here and hardcore Noah fans. So it's it's an interesting situation. I feel like a Monday Magic was the happiest people seen of Jake Lee. Uh, you got Jack Morris, who has just been absolutely fantastic. Shh, went crazy in the N1. They're teaming up against Keno, who's the heart and soul. Uh, Ken, Keno kind of fucking, I don't know, shoot, 
shoot Fabe. Kind of like, yeah, people are leaving because fucking Jake Lee. It's like, damn, you're not supposed to say, you're not supposed to say the quiet parts out loud. Uh, you got Keno and the son of Dr. Wagner Jr. Um, all all these men are hot right now. All these men are, are up. But the heart and soul of this company is Keno, especially now that Nakajima is leaving. So it would be interesting. Hopefully they, they bust their ass. Next, you got an eight-man tag. You got Anthony Green, uh, LJ Cleary, who's just uh, appeared on Monday Magic. Yohei. Dude, listen, I hate good-looking guys, but I love Yohei. There, I said it. Good looking guys. Dumbest name ever. <laughs> but Yohei is awesome. Tadazuke versus uh, Kiyomiya. It's nice to see him back there. Oyawa, uh, Dragon Bane, and Alpha Wolf. Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf. <laughs> oh! Uh, Oyawa, will Oyawa get uh, the pin? Pinned? I don't know. Maybe it'll be LJ Cleary. But I'd love to see. I don't know. It's, it's a tough call. This is actually a tough call. I'm overthinking an eight man tag. I'll go with Kiyomiya's team. Go with Kiyomiya's team. We got to push him to the moon, right? 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 Oh, God, right? Right? Am I, am I fucking right? Uh, next, you got a tag team match. Hayata and Edo will be going against Gawa and Daga. Um, should be interesting. Six man tag match. You got Marafuji, uh, Segura, and Murakami. Versus Taniguchi, Zaxon Huxley, and Suzuki. So, should be interesting. Marafuji, big time star in that one. Tag team match, you got High 69, Miyawaki versus Extreme Tiger and Kondo. Love to see what... It, uh, Kondo, sorry about that. Uh, love, to see, love to see what Extreme Tiger can do. And then you got a six-man tag. You got my man Ninja Mac, who'll be going for a brand new title. I think the hardcore title, but it's not really a hardcore title. It's more of an X-Division title at Monday Magic. Um, again, it's Alejandro and Terry Yaki. I didn't think that was his real fucking name. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, dude. When they were chanting Terry Yaki, I thought they were being sarcastic. Um, this will be the first time, according source Twitter, that he'll be wrestling at Cork and Hall. Always an honor, uh, especially for those that really love Japanese pro wrestling. So I'll be interested to see what these three can do. Uh, Koji, Yoshioka, and Ohara are their opponents. I'm hoping because Ninja Mac will be main eventing in three days and Shinjuku face is three or four days. Why can't no one in pro wrestling Noah know the days, including myself? Like, they were like, it's in 24 hours. I'm like, uh, no, it's in 48 hours. It's in three days. It's actually in four days. But Ninja Mac will be going. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this will lead to Monday Magic. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, I hope Ninja Mac wins. I hope Teriyaki gets to show us what we got. And then I'd love to see who Ninja Mac's opponent is. Uh, Muda will also be there. So I'm excited. Already got my tickets. Pumped up. And a dark uh, dark match, tag team match against Stalin Rogers, Fujimura versus uh, Owada and Osawa. Obviously, we are all here for Nakajima. And that's why there's not many 1v1 matches or key matches moving forward. And I wish we could get a Nakajima 1v1 towards the end. Maybe a title match here and there, but you know, I, I know like a lot of fans get insulted, but that's not true. A lot of English fans get insulted when like people are like, "Oh, we're just coming for one match. Oh, we're coming for one guy," and they're like, "How could you? You gotta love everything." And I think that's one difference between Japanese fans and um, no, I guess not Japanese fans because like you're white fans that live on this island versus fans that live off this island. Um, a lot of us just go for the best wrestlers, the best matchups and special events where you guys go for the whole thing. Like I had this debate with a with a, uh, an American fan once that lives here in Japan and they're like, why do they always wonder what the card is? And it's because they don't they're not loyal to corporations like Americans where you're like, I'm going to go to WWE, AEW, Impact, ROH, no matter what it is. Japanese people are like, what? on that fucking card what, what you got what you got on that card who you got oh knock nakajima's nakajima's last match at cork and hall with noah i got my ticket it's like what's on the card tell me what's on the card and that's what makes uh monday magic and we'll probably review this and preview monday magic um in the next noah video that's what makes monday magic really special is that they're kind of going with an american themed but they're doing it bi-weekly, and I'm hoping they get that stuff down to weekly. 
It would just be great. Every Monday night, go to Shinjuku Face. Pro Wrestling Noah, tell a story. And, yeah, it's an interesting time. But overall, I can't wait to see Nakajima. I'm excited that I get to see his last match in Noah, in the Tokyo area, and in Cork and Hall until he finds his new home. Or maybe he'd just be a free agent forever. Because, just like Suzuki, I feel like if he's on the card, you're more likely to buy a ticket. Where, I think that's more of a, I don't know, Europe, is is that where, <coughs> where are you from? I guess that's what, where, what country are you from? And what's more important? Is it the logo? Or is it the card? Is it the athletes? Because I find the difference to be huge. Anyway, super excited. We'll be there live. Um, and I'll do a review of it and a preview of Monday uh, Mayhem. Sorry if I was stuttering or messing up a lot today. I have to go for jaw surgery next week. I hope you understand and you're kind in the comments. <laughs> Tell me which match you're looking for and where you think Nakajima is going. All right, with that, I am... Oh, wait, wait, well, no. Before that, YouTube, Coco Sports. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, look for our podcast, WrestleAM, on YouTube, Coco Sports, where you can find podcast and when my jaw is fixed i'll be on twitch.tv forward slash coco sports every day and making tons of videos here we're coco sports on twitch twitter tiktok instagram x threads and the mean streets of cork and tomorrow with that i am over hey oh and g-man's returning Woo!